Alright, hello and welcome back to Ask My Cats, and let's play that. Today we'll be taking a look at Monster Rancher 2 Advance. So if you've ever heard of the Monster Rancher franchise, in it you adopt a monster, and then you raise him, and then you have him battle. Now it sounds a lot like Pokemon, except one, you're stuck with just that monster, like you're given to him. Like he's given to you, like it's some sort of weird farm raising game rather than an actual Pokemon game, and two, your monster seems to live almost exclusively for battle. I mean, in Pokemon, they like to at least pretend that the Pokemon have individual wills and they make friends with people and whatever. Monster Rancher? No, it's straight up just battle, battle, battle. Make it fatter and then make it battle. Please enter your name. It's always reassuring when a game allows for capital letters. Well, it's one of those things where like, you don't notice it unless you need it. And then you know, notice all the time. My name is Cat. That's what I keep telling other people. We just, we just met. Oh, now I'm a real breeder. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, I kind of met Holly already, but yeah, that's that's kind of the difference between these Game Boy Advance games versus the arcade games. They sure like to talk in these Game Boy Advance games. And I mean, yeah, you can read it, but jeez, it's all so trivial. Oh, uh, hmm. That's kind of interesting. Ah, okay. Oh no, do we need to pray to the gods so that they'll accept our monster fighting? Oh, how does it work? Uh, the old age Monster Rancher games, you would actually put um, various CDs into your PlayStation. It would actually use that to generate monsters. That's like the craziest thing. I mean, it was to me because I never actually played it. Unfortunately, you only use a few characters. You'll start with four. Oh, dang it. So uh, they, they try to keep that same idea, but. Well, I mean, obviously you can't attach a CD reader to your Game Boy Advance, so instead they just have you do uh, wussy coats. I played uh, Monster Rancher Advance 1, and, well, it, was, it wasn't it was as inter interesting as you'd think, but it's kind of neat, just to see what kind of monster you get. Uh, speaking of neat and what kind of monster did I get, that's neat. What kind of monster did I get? What a cool monster. Hold on, man. I gotta take a second and figure out if that sentence is actually true. Uh, yeah. Let's give the kid a name. Alright, so A S H Gabat. Dun 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 dun. Oh, oh, Moe. Get rid of that. I'm naming this monster. This monster is mine. I'm naming it what I want. Go bat. Good enough. Is Gabat okay? Well, probably not, but let's say okay. All right. Let's take a monster. Who is Gima? Oh, a Gima is the. Man, she, she says a lot of stuff. Oh my gosh. Uh, flip, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, it's not really the same as an arcade game. Jeez, this is, this is not what I expected. I kind of wanted a big platformer, jumping, fighting, but now we've got battles. You know what? Let's, let's do something crazy. Let's do something unprecedented. I will cut to the very first battle, so I'll play through all this on my own, and then I will cut to when the first battle begins. So, well, I, I say see you then, but it'll be now. All right, so we're right here before the battle. And so not only can you not just jump straight into a battle, you have to uh, wait until that time. 
So as I saw, um, as you saw, I just registered for this E-Cup, which is conveniently close to when we just started the game. It's almost like they want us to start us off with that. So all, uh, well, there's a bit of foreshadowing. Let's see how we do. Its loyalty is low, so it may not listen to your commands during the battle. Do you still want to enter this tournament? Heck yes, I do. We're gonna make you fight. We're gonna make you earn your money. All right, hello and welcome back to the Youth Cup, where monsters from around the world ready for battle just, just to celebrate the prime of their youth. And so now we have Gabat fighting against a pointy. That sounds, do you want to give Gabat orders? Well, it's not gonna listen to me anyway. Yeah, Gabat should be fine on his own. Oh, famous last words. I wonder if monsters can actually die in this. Well, at least I'm completely beating them in power, which is probably the only stat that matters, probably. Yeah, it's, it's also unlike Pokemon in that, like, they kind of emphasize the fact that they're monsters with, like, their own sort of independent thoughts and wishes and desires. Whereas Pokemon were... I don't know, kind of like weirdly subservient to you. Like you tell them what move to do and unless you're in Gen 1 and you traded for your friend's level 100 Charizard, it's gonna listen to whatever you tell it to do. Whereas these monsters, well you saw it wouldn't even listen to me even if I talked to it. But um, even, even playing it, like I've played this before and like, well I've played it very briefly. And even doing that, like it it barely listened to me. It doesn't help that, like, y you have to choose the attacks. Like, like each attack takes out a certain amount of stamina or something. And so you have to be kind of careful which one you're using and when. Time up. Uh... Yeah, Gabat, fighting champion. There's hope for you yet. Void wins the round. Oh man, Void is so weak. Oh, never mind. They they grew up again. Huh. What what? Why did Pointy and Fazzy? F oh, okay, third place. All right. Let's see, info energy. Oh, I see. You can you can check out the opposing monster and strategize. But uh, always <laughs> hungry. No matter how much it eats. I feel you, bro. I feel you. All right. Uh, no, Gabat seems fine on its own. <laughs> even even she agrees. At least she's not like that's a terrible idea. You're the worst ranger I've ever seen, but I'm contractually obligated to just let you do you. Man, Gabat is just like a tearing machine. Oh, never mind. Oh, it's nasty. Come on, Gabat. He tail whip should not do damage. Man, Pokemon has ruined me. Can't play any other fighting games without seeing a tail whip and being like, oh yeah, raise the defense by one stage. But nope. Oh geez, Gabat, you were getting your butt handed to you. Now it'd be a little unrealistic to expect him to win the uh, very first match fights in, but I mean, come on. That's crazy. Oh geez, uh, I sure hope Gabat didn't die. Neat prize money. Think Gabat's popularity has changed? Nope. All good. At least we're gaining fame. Oh, oh, neat. Stats go up? Do you want to praise it? Heck yes, I do. I didn't even tell him what to do, and he's already a winner. Alright, let's uh, cut back to the next battle. Oh, no. I'll fast forward through all the stuff I do. How about that? <laughs> it looks happy, but was it such a good idea? <laughs>
Oh, so apparently I have to actually kind of control this. And, uh, let's see. So in the middle of the screen you have the guts, which determines what attacks you can use. Oh wow, it's not even headbutt, it's called headbang. That's right, get bats in the metal. Ooh, what's this? Scratch. That does not do a lot. Man, this is way harder than I thought to fight. Unfortunately, I bet when you use the monsters and have them fight on their own, it probably runs off of their intelligence stat, which is not great. Oh, that's neat. As you move left and right, you actually move closer to them. Like, like that's actually spacing. Wow, this is way more intense than Pokemon. I don't know. Oh my god. Well, unfortunately, it's back to Boring Town. <laughs> Don't make me sound like an afterthought, Aroma. <laughs> Well, it's an unexpected fight. Oh. Oh, come on. My monster was exhausted. Why are you fighting me, you jerk? Alright, so apparently this battle is to, uh, teach me how to counter. Uh, I will stick it to the man by not countering at all. Although I'm assuming this is going to be some sort of desperate battle where you essentially feel like you have to counter at the end, or else you're going to go nowhere. Unfortunately, I used a lot of my guts real fast. So, things aren't looking great. Uh oh, things are looking desperate. Looks like I'll have to. Counter, counter! Oh, I did not even get to try to counter. I just lost anyway. That's, that's kind of disappointing. That was great! Yeah, that was great for you. You shouldn't do that to people all of a sudden. <laughs> all right, well, we're back. Welcome to the Rain Cup. Water is the giver of life to all. The rain that falls from the sky is truly a blessing from above, and rain-making rituals have been carried out for centuries. May the skies rain down upon us. Let the rain cup begin. Now, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm just going to make the monster like do the auto stuff anyway, so I'm not even going to bother talking. Let's just go. And this is way more in common with horse racing than it does with Pokemon. Actually, I kind of wonder if that's how they came up with the idea for this. And then the gimmick is that you, you make your own character by adding in some sort of random seed. But, uh, well... Uh, what's, what's my name? It? Gabat? Gabat won the first round. Let's see if he can win the second round.
The guy just shoot a missile at me? That's not even a little fair. Also, did you see when it did like 60 damage to me? That's that's kind of cheap. Bat. Time's running down. You got the guts. Go for the guts. Go for the guts, though. Gabat, what are you doing? Oh, was that a counter? Unfortunately, I don't think that was enough. Nice try, Gabat. Maybe it's better if I play. And then all the rest of these losers who we don't care about fight. Oh. Deciding match for third place. Never mind. Alright, Gabat, this is your one chance to redeem yourself. Looks like Gabat doesn't even win third place. Let's see if I even win money. Uh, nope. Zero G's. No money. Think Gabat's popularity has changed? Yeah, I bet it decreased. Oh, increased by two! We're getting there. We're getting there. Gabat didn't do too well, but it did its best, right? I'm gonna say no. It seems to be sorry. Well, unfortunately, Gabat, now that we know you're a loser, I really don't feel like devoting any more time to you. But anyway, that was Monster Rancher Advance 2, and I gotta be honest, it's almost addicting enough I almost want to keep playing and see if Gabat can do it. It's, it kind of takes all the best parts of horse racing, like horse racing raising sims, where you've got like your horse and you're the one raising it. But it also has like the Pokemon undertones of like, gotta collect them all, fighting, but it's got like kind of a tactical fighting thing, like you saw, you can like change the distings and spacings, and I don't know if you noticed, but on the bottom of the screen there were hit percentages. So as you kind of change the distances, you actually change the hit percentages. So there's even a little bit of strategy. Now, I mean, assuming, I mean, I'm assuming there's not actually that much strategy to it, but I mean, there's at least some strategy. It's not just like Pokemon where you use Ember with your Charmander all the time until he evolves into a Charizard and you just use Fire Blast and then you just like win your way to the Elite Four. But then you get walled by the Elite Four because it turns out they're actually pretty hard to use if you only have one good Pokemon. But then you keep fighting your way through until you eventually, somehow miraculously, fight down the last guy with a tentacle you caught at the last minute who has 18 HP left. And then you go to the Hall of Fame and you just, like, are on cloud nine. Not that I would know anything about that. Well, on that note, this cat's gotta, well, we gotta save and then we'll skip.